I can spawn even more? What am I gonna do? You know, I'm totally determined we cannot have nothing nice, dude. You give people power and then they just go crazy with it. Like, seriously. And this is one of the prime examples of that being able to spawn multiple cars into the game and then it just getting out the, like, dude. <laughs> Subscribe. And it will post notification for Ricky the Boat making it go ding. Why am I so dark? Here, let me get into some sunlight. Oh, there we go. Subscribe. And it will post notification for Ricky the Boat making it go ding, guys. If this video gets at least six, 700 likes, we're going to do a, a Robux giveaway. I've been talking about it, but it's coming around. Make sure you're subscribed so you get enabled for those giveaways so you know when the video drops so you can be like, dude, oh my god, Robux code that's amazing i got some free robux dude so yeah robux giveaway uh we do those just so you guys know now getting into this video and getting what i was talking about the top like at the beginning the, the very tippity top so uh yeah what in the world is going on with this new feature and why is it a feature well i'm gonna go into why it was ideally added and then some of the chaotic stuff that is coming along with this and how it's kind of funny but yeah with that aside we're talking about multiple cars multiple cars you want one car two car three car no you want a hundred cars so you got that now in brookhaven you could spawn a hundred cars falling from the sky 200 of them no big deal if you want either. No, but there is a limit. But on top of that, there once was a much stricter limit uh, to how many cars you can spawn and how that can kind of work. Well, say you have a roleplay where you own a car shop or you're at the auto shop. You're working on a car and then you have to drive your car there to go work on another car. You want to be able to have multiple cars for different roleplays and things just seem to add up and make sense in that regard. Um, if you want to make your world seem more lively and have more direction. Um, so that's why I believe this new update or one of the last updates that we've seen, we've seen the addition of being able to add multiple cars into your private servers. Now, what was weird about this is we couldn't add multiple cars in public lobbies. Why? I don't like it. Get it out. I want to be able to add public cars, uh, you know, to fill up the whole lobby. No, that would get out of hand and imbalanced, right? Well, um, now we can add multiple cars in a lobby. We can actually add four to five things, I believe. The horses don't count anymore. The skateboards don't really count. And then you can have vehicles on top of that. But here's where it gets a little bit crazy. If you have a lot of people in your lobby, you could spawn a lot of cars, I believe. You know, just one sec. Prime example right here is where it can kind of get it out of hand. Look at all the cars. This is dojo. Shout out the punk. But yeah, see, that's what I'm exactly talking about. So now with the ability on private server, you can spawn a lot of cars and things can get really, really crazy. But we're going to be deep diving into that feature and how you and your friends can really evolve and just add a bunch of cars if you want. So yeah, it can get kind of funny, right? So uh, first and foremost, there is things to know. The horse doesn't count as a car. Finally, makes sense, right? You would think that uh, for the longest time, it, you would be able to have a horse because if you want to do a farm roleplay, you want to have a horse at the stables, but you want to drive your car there to go visit your horse or something or ride like a scooter. Whatever the case may be, maybe your horse would not be there. It would it would have to despawn, right? So now, if you notice, I will spawn a car, but my horse is still there and active as ever. Now, with this feature, there's nothing that you specifically have to activate. This feature is just already embedded into private servers, so if you're not careful, you can go around spawning multiple cars if you don't click this little car exit button. Now, when you click this, obviously, it deletes every other vehicle uh, that is out there on the field, and you have nothing to worry about. This feature is also amazing for just preventing people that steal your car and you didn't happen to lock your car. Well, you can just cancel them, and then they will fall to their death going 100 miles per hour in your vehicle, which they shouldn't have been doing in the first place, right? So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and spawn uh, this thing, for example, and then let's go over here and let's spawn. Uh, we have to wait, though. We still got a wait timer. I mean, it, it, on private server, you're still going to get a wait time, I, I guess. There's not much you can do to get with that. All right, so then we have this. You know, what I wonder is, you know, it would be crazy if you could spawn more of the same vehicle, right? Um, that would be crazy. Okay, just so I, that's the first time I've actually tried that. Okay, so I want to do something. I want to do something. What's the biggest vehicle, guys? Okay, the bus is big. The bus is big. We're not going to lie. It's, it, he's, he's big. Um, buses seem to be probably the big, oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Please don't tell me I can spawn three of these. Oh, my God, dude. This is going to be crazy. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. One more, one more. One more, one more. <laughs> you see, I, I didn't think that would be possible. I, I, I can spawn even more? What am I gonna do? <laughs> okay, okay, well guys, it looks like this, this, these spawned so perfectly for like a thumbnail or something, dude. Look at this, should, should this be a thumbnail, dude? This is like, look at that, <laughs> thumbnail. Dude, I was not expecting them to spawn so perfectly, dude. Thumbnail that. Oh my god, dude. I, I Seriously, but look, that is so crazy. Um, so that's just three. Now, if we go to spawn another one, it is going to despawn that first one, right? So 
Uh, it doesn't matter how big the vehicle is. You can spawn three of the same vehicle or you can spawn three of any vehicle. If you want an army now, dude, if you want an army, imagine the role plays you can do now, guys. Okay, so if you want an army, uh, you can put multiple tanks. Now, this is going to be really cool because once, and I feel like there's a military base update coming. I feel like there's a military base update coming, right? So when that military base update comes, you're going to be able to fill your military base out with all kinds of weaponary uh, base stuff, tanks, everything. Look at that. We got three tanks right here. And then there's other military weapons as well, like a Hummer and stuff like you can add. And then remember, if your friends are in the lobby too, they can spawn in their vehicles. And then you're going to have even more vehicles on top of those vehicles, which is just going to be a crazy 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 thing to see right but it adds such a fun dynamic and i love the fact that you know this is only for private servers but it's actually really nice because you're getting to be able to have freedom to change and customize things that you normally wouldn't believe to be possible and uh, that's just really darn cool in my opinion right so yeah uh, being able to really go over and beyond on your private servers being able to adjust things which we have private server controls you know the private server side of brookhaven is where i want to have fun i want to kind of go over the top sometimes i want to do things that i normally wouldn't be able to do in a public server and we're seeing that a lot now with private servers and the more features that are getting introduced. And I think this is only the beginning, the starting point of what what is going to be possible for private servers and what we're going to be able to change and customize and just fully be able to create our own play experience even more in depth. And I think with the right direction with this, it could really add a whole new customization aspect. And what it could do is create a very endless type of like customization and freedom on what the players could do and how they could interact with Brookhaven if implemented correctly. So with a private server in Brookhaven, if future updates really target certain things, we will be able to see massive customization and endless and more just boatloads of content and what could be possible. And it would definitely extend Brookhaven's lifespan even more, I believe, um, beyond. So yeah, there's a lot of cool ideas that could be adding into the future. And of course, Wolfpack is adding little subtle changes here and there and everywhere, which has been stupendous because um, this is really cool too. Now I can have an army of tanks and I can go take down anybody that defies me, right? So that's pretty cool. And I definitely love that. And if you have friends, it's just going to be even more chaotic and even more fun, right? So uh, yeah, I just don't have friends right now, sadly. <sighs> Anyway, so yeah, with that aside, I love you guys so much. Um, as you guys know, we upload here every single day. Brookhaven is uh, just recently had a birthday. Um, you know, it's amazing to see that. Um, and I know I keep talking about it, but it's just really amazing to see Brookhaven having sustained and just done such an amazing thing for the Roblox community and brought so much life to the the table. And, you know, Brookhaven is one of those games that everybody can play. Not everybody may be able to get completely into, but everybody's played Brookhaven at some point in time. And you see that with all the billions and billions of biz visits this game has had. And uh, if you really open your mind, your imagination can roam free in Brookhaven and literally anything is possible. And uh, with each and every update, it makes it more exciting and more possible to add things that you didn't previously think would be even possible right so uh that's one of the reasons i really love the game and uh i have been mentioning this very briefly but uh you know over the over my move this year and everything in between uh, i really want to bring the live streams back you know that's been something that has been a huge detriment and i didn't realize you know um because having moved and all the chaos of moving and uh, the troubles and the ups and downs that i was facing during everything it was like i just couldn't uh, you know get the live stream working properly get the internet uh corrected how i needed to and uh it was a struggle it was a really struggle on that so i'm hoping to be able to bring a live stream back to you guys very soon and to uh, get that rolling again and getting that back on track and uh I'm, I'm really excited about that because you guys know live stream is one of my favorite things in the whole world being able to lively interact with you guys and uh you know i haven't properly talked about why i haven't been able to live stream in a video uh and uh i wanted to sort of address it in this one uh, but yeah it is coming back and it's going to be absolutely terrific and uh the support that you guys are giving on the videos consistently every single day um during this crazy bumpy time is uh more than appreciated and that's what we do we're family here you know if you guys are feeling sad you're feeling down come watch a video we're gonna cheer you up um and uh you know we're gonna get through this together and i uh, love you guys and i uh, hope you guys stick around so with that aside see you all in the next one dude we're into the video here dude that's it dude. You, you, dude what more do you need there's not more you do need it's the videos in dude and it, it's nighttime dude but server commands i can make it daytime just like that magic anyway see you guys in the next one